like me, you are always on a mission to make your product images better. Now I have a tutorial for you today, which is all about drop shadows and it goes into a sort of a little bit of detail of how you can do it in Canva. Drop shadows are basically when you add sort of like a shadow behind something in your product image and it, make, it really makes a pop, makes it stand out and sort of differentiates it from the background and it's really easy for the customer to sort of see what is in that drop shadow. So there's a couple of different ways you can do it. I'm going to jump across to the screen share and show you exactly how to do it in Canva. But before I do, I just wanted to let you know, like product images, they are worth your time. Really making these sort of these little tweaks like adding drop shadows, it can make all the difference for a customer clicking on your thumbnail and then coming into your world and your business and not. So it really is important to invest that time in our product images. They deserve just as much, if not more, love and care than our actual digital products. Okay, I'm gonna jump into the tutorial. So here I am in my Canva. I'm already logged in, so I'm gonna go ahead and create a new document. So top right hand corner, I'm gonna hit create a design. And I'm gonna make it 2000 by 2000 pixels. You can obviously do whatever size suits you. The reason I picked that is because that is the preferred size for an Etsy listing. So I'm gonna create new design. Now in my uploads tab, I've already uploaded an invite that I've designed and you can see I've inserted that now and you can see it kind of merges into the background, doesn't it? It doesn't really stand out. There's no sort of, um, there's nothing really to differentiate that design from the background. It just sort of sits there. Now there's two ways that we can add a drop shadow. The first way is to click on whatever you want to add the drop shadow to. Hit edit image, scroll down and there's a section called shadows and it might not be turned on for you. If it isn't, then you just hit turn on. It's just an option in Canva. And then you can go in there and you can actually add all these different types of shadows. So they look great, don't they? They really make it pop off the page and just sort of give it that little bit of extra polish, which is awesome. Now there's one thing to remember, once you apply this and you click off or you click apply, then it will apply to this and you won't actually be able to change it. So it sort of becomes one image, it's not editable and you won't be able to change it from this to say this down the track. You need to actually think about what you want it to be. Make sure you're 110% happy with it, hit apply and then yeah, you're pretty much stuck with it. So just make sure that whatever you decide on, that's exactly what you want. Otherwise we'll have to go in and redo it. Now the second option for a drop shadow. I'm gonna grab that invite that I had before. I'm gonna pop it in there and we're gonna do the second version. I might put it on a second page so you can clearly see it. So if you go into elements and you search for shadows, a lot of these sort of things pop up. So these are sort of like boxes and you can see that they're just like a drop shadow and then this would sort of go in the center of it. Now the sort of downside to this is they aren't the right shape. So if this sort of doesn't fit, as you can see like that, it's not gonna go all the way around. But there is a way around this. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. So send it to the back. You can see it cuts off there, but what we do is we copy, so Control C, Control V. So I've got two of those now. I've got one that's already sitting behind it and I've got one here. I'm gonna line up the second one so it's sort of sitting exactly where I need it to. And then what I'm gonna do, cause you can see these are currently overlapping, which is not what we want. I'm gonna resize this one. And then I'm gonna resize this one so that they sort of meet in the middle. Beautiful, and that is all nicely lined up now. And that looks like it is exactly, well, it looks like it's a drop shadow on this thing. So again, I've got two parts of that drop shadow just there. I'm gonna show you one more time. So insert the box. And then copy and paste. So you've got two boxes. Then just adjust the boxes. And you'll, you'll notice that Canva actually snaps them into each other. And if, for example, you want to make these one item, you can actually in the top right hand corner, hit group. And then for convenience, that will just be the same one. And you can always ungroup those to edit them a little bit more if you wanted that drop shadow to be a little bit smaller. 
you can definitely do that. So I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that you go ahead and make some sort of job shadows on your product images because they definitely make things pop off the page. If you enjoyed what you saw, then definitely subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you part of my community. I put out new videos every single week. So until next time, thank you so much, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.